So Robert, when did you uh, kind of had this moment when you realized what you want to build is actually wordware? It's a really hard question because I think there wasn't a moment where I was like, what I want to build is wordware. I think what I wanted to build was I was seeing the hair on fire problem of a bunch of really talented teams struggling with the fact that their engineers were not domain experts. Time and time again, we saw like the engineer writing the prompts to the code base. They kind of show the output of the agent, their PM or the CEO, the one with domain knowledge, with taste. And then they get kind of very fuzzy feedback, like, hmm, it's good on X, it's bad on Y, the vibes are off. And you know, I'm an engineer, you're an engineer. We're not so good with vibes. Uh, we like requirements, uh, but then it's so hard to turn that tacit knowledge, that like years of experience into requirements. And so like as an SDR, you can tell the difference between like a good cold email and a bad cold email. To engineer, they look the same, but you can't necessarily put into words why one is better than the other. But if you put the prompt in the hands of the SDR, they're able to iterate until that agent is freaking amazing. Um, and so that's where Wordware was like, oh, okay, if we can unlock these people who know what good looks like to iterate a thousand times, then we're going to just get better and better results. So what I sometimes hear on, on calls and from any prospective customers is I hear, what can I do with AI? So, you know, as a horizontal tool, Wordware can do it all. We've and got finance people already, sales people, marketing people, logistics, medical space. It's, yeah. 